What's up everybody, it's Zach, Tennis Pro Doc. I've gotten a ton of comments recently asking for more head-to-heads of different tennis shoe makes and models. So I thought this would be a great series to start. Head-to-heads where we base them off of a rating system in four categories. And I think this would be good to catalog these shoes. That way we can kind of get sort of a ranking system going each year, and that way we can kind of see where the shoes are stacking up year to year. First and foremost though, let me know how you're doing with your tennis. Have you been playing matches recently, playing solo, have you been able to get that out to the courts? Let me know. All right, now for the meat of the show. Nike Air Zoom Vapor Cage 4 versus Yonex Power Cushion Eclipse in 3. As you can see, they are cut in half. If you want to see the teardowns of these, I'll link them in the description below. Now, if you watch the Eclipse in 3 play test, you may remember me saying that these two shoes were kind of cut from the same cloth, and that's why I think that this head-to-head -head is a pretty good one to start with. The head-to-head -head is going to be four categories with five points available in each category. Those categories are going to be speed, comfort, durability, and playability for a total score out of 20. Now, since I am a foot doctor, I am going to be a little harder on these shoes than some others maybe would be, but don't take these scores personally if you like one shoe or the other. I mean, I could find fault in just about every shoe. So starting with speed, if you look at the suicide test of both of these shoes, the Eclipse in 3s perform vastly better, but the suicide tests only tell part of the story. You also have to look at initial push-off, and I think the Eclipse in 3s really do a nice job of that. The pattern in the forefoot is really good for gripping and pushing off, whereas in the Vapor Cage 4s, the forefoot's just a little clunky, the uppers are a little clunky, and it's actually kind of hard to get the shoe to go. So I'm going to give the Vapor Cage 4s a 2 and the Eclipse in 3s a 4 on speed. The Eclipse in 3s would be a 5 if it weren't for weight. I think both of these shoes could actually be stripped down a little bit more. All right, so comfort. Yonex definitely takes it with their tongue construction. Really nice, padded, plush, comfortable tongue. If you watch the Vapor Cage 4 videos, you'll know I'm not a fan of their two-piece tongue. The closure is just too uneven, can cause pain in different spots on your foot, and you just don't get even tension. But the Eclipsian 3s are a little more narrow in the toe box and harder to break in. Vapor Cage 4s break in pretty much out of the box. This is a tough one. So because one is better out of the box and the other is better overall, I'm going to give them both a 3 out of 5. Yonex would be a 4 if the flange was a little wider though. And reminder, if you have two shoes you want to see go head to head, let me know in the comments down below. Also let me know your pick between the two and if you agree or disagree with my ranking system. Alright, durability. Both of these did phenomenal during the Dremel test. Both outsoles produced not even a millimeter of damage with the Dremel test, and both uppers didn't get through the first layer with the Dremel test, so they both get a 5 out of 5 for durability. All right, playability. This is kind of the most important one, right? So even though these are both pretty plush shoes, the Eclipsean 3 was just a much better playing shoe for me. Number one, the Eclipsean heel counter was just much more responsive with that outrigger heel counter. The Vapor Cage 4's heel counter was just really soft and just meh. Number two, the uppers on the Eclipse in 3 were really light and moved through the court well, whereas the Vapor Cage 4 uppers are just really bulky and kind of a drag. Plus, the Eclipse in 3s are more of an all court shoe with their tread, whereas in the Vapor Cage 4s, you definitely need to get the clay version to do any damage on a clay court whatsoever. In the Eclipse in, you could play on clay in these pretty easily without having to get the clay model. And so, for playability, I'm giving the Onyx Eclipse in 3s a 4 out of 5, and the Nike Vapor Cage 4s a 2 out of 5 for a grand total of 16 out of 20 for the Onyx Power Cushion Eclipse in 3, and a 12 out of 20 for the Nike Air Zoom Vapor Cage 4. Vapor Cage 4s for me were just too much bulk and not. Not enough science to get them over that 15 out of 20 threshold for, for me is that's what I would consider an elite shoe 15 out of 20 and higher. To my surprise the Eclipse in 3s have kind of been one of my favorite shoes of 2020 and I think I'd like them even more except for that really medium toe box. The Eclipse in 3s will break in a foot up to about a 2e but Yonex would be pretty wise just to increase the flange a little bit to accommodate more players on their flagship shoe. All right, make sure you look out for some new videos coming out, best shoelaces for tennis, best shoes under 100 bucks, some new play tests and teardowns as well coming out. If you don't wanna miss those, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. Have a great day, great night, wherever you are tuning in from, and I'll see you next time.